Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman from TV Media Insights. It is Friday, August 10th. I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast. There is a lot on the agenda. And let's begin with Candid Camera. Now, you're wondering, why am I talking about Candid Camera? Well, on this day in 1948, Candid Camera with Alan Funt debuted on ABC. Anyone out there that thinks that the concept of reality is new, keep in mind that Candid Camera is turning 64 years old today. And it has been around in some format in every decade ever since. And I'm sure at some point it will be back again. Let's now go to Go On on NBC. It previewed on Wednesday out of the Olympics at 11.06 p.m. to 11.30. It scored 16.1 million viewers, which is exactly what NBC had hoped for. It got sampled. Unfortunately, we will not see Go On again until September 11th when it opens in its regularly scheduled Tuesday 9 p.m. half hour. But it was sampled. We'll wait and see what happens. It's certainly not going to get 16 million viewers on Tuesday. But people saw it. And based on the feedback that I received, the response was mixed. Let's go to Dallas on TNT. It closed its first season on the cable network on Wednesday at an average 4.3 million viewers. For the season, it was 4.5 million. And it is still number one for the season to date or 2012 to date among adults 18 to 49 and adults 25 to 54. It is second, and that is among all new cable series. It is second behind Perception, which is also on TNT. The bottom line is Dallas, not an extraordinary hit, but it did well in its first season. I think it opened up the door to more viewers for TNT, and I congratulate the cable network and the people involved. Great, great first season. Got to be honest with that. Let's now go to Good Afternoon America. Soon it's going to be Goodbye America because this thing is a huge flop in daytime. Now, look, the plan was it was going to air the summer for nine weeks, keeping the 2 p.m. weekday time period warm until General Hospital moves there in the fall. Well, in week four, it plummeted to its worst performance to date, under 1.4 million viewers. If you compare it to year ago occupant One Life to Live, it is now down by more than two thirds in the key female demos. Colossal flop. ABC has such a mess in daytime, and General Hospital will certainly do better at two o'clock. I have to talk about Big Brother for a second before I forget on CBS last night. It's my summer guilty pleasure. It probably is yours as well. Admit it. I was so sorry to see, and if you didn't watch it, step away for 10 seconds. But I was really sorry to see Janelle leave. She's a good player. They needed to get her out. But how unnecessary was it for Mike Boogie to leave that nasty message for her, that video message? Um, mirroring what Janelle said, Mike Boogie is a total, total douchebag. I'm sorry this is a G-rated video cast, but I had to say it because he is. He really is. Now I want to go to GSN. They have announced a new series, and I'm looking at my cheat sheet right now. It is called Family Trade, and it is a docuseries. It will take place at the G-Stone Motors, a GMC and Ford dealership in Middlebury, Vermont. So you're probably wondering, why would GSN, which is a cable network for games, initially classic game shows, now more original game shows, why would they have a docuseries based in a car dealership in Vermont? Because they want to get into the reality business, the docuseries business, and that's what they're trying. They're trying to broaden their focus. I don't think it's a good idea, but heck, I'm not programming the network. Now let's go to FX, and I like this much better. They've announced a new scripted drama. It is called The Americans. It is a period piece about the arranged and complex marriage of two KGB spies. They are played by Matthew Reese and Kerry Russell. They pose as Americans in suburban Washington, D.C., shortly after Ronald Reagan is elected president. We all, of course, remember Kerry Russell for her four-season stint on Felicity on the WB, which at the time was a very big hit for that network. Now let's go to syndication. Arsenio Hall, as you know, he is coming out with a new late-night talk show from CBS Television Distribution in fall 2013. They have announced that it is cleared in 85% of the country. I think this is a very good idea. I think Arsenio, you know, obviously he did very well when he initially hosted a late-night talker. I think there are people out there like myself that don't care for Leno or Letterman, and they would watch. And I think this could be a slam dunk for CBS television distribution. And finally, Sunday is the conclusion of the London Olympics on NBC. Congratulations to NBC. They had a huge, huge victory here. The London Olympics will go down in the record books as the most watched event in television history. This was a great promotional platform for NBC. It was an A-plus event. 
win-win situation. Congrats to NBC. They certainly needed it. And that is our daily video cast from TV Media Insights. I hope everybody has a great weekend. And I will be back with more news about my favorite medium, television, on Monday. Signing off, Mark Berman.